morning and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ilaria. I'm an illustrator and maker based in Berlin. Today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. I, I would like to show you an unboxing of many unboxing actually of <laughs> from Cricut. This company uh, gently sent me some uh, stuff to try out. So we are going to be looking at the Cricut maker uh, together. So we will do an unboxing and we will try uh, together to set up this machine. So far I've been cutting stickers with a silhouette portrait tool. So it's another kind of machine. Uh, this is uh, from another company. So it's something new for me and I want to see how, how long does it take me to figure out how uh, to make this baby work. So now I'm going to show you all the other products that Cricut sent me and then we will move on and open this baby. So together with the machine I received also some other accessories and, and material that you can use with Cricut. And I also have a knit press myself that I bought probably two years ago. So they sent me a, a mat that uh, you can use with a heat press. It looks like this, as you can see, it's really soft. So you can like put your t-shirt or bag or everything that you want to print on, then put your paper and then the heat press and you can work and save your, your table underneath. So this is really helpful because I uh, didn't have one so far. I was only using a towel, but I think this one is more practical. Yeah. Then we have some infusible ink and this is uh, something uh, really new and that I'm uh, really curious to try it out is uh, like a knit press kind of paper but it, it is actually not like the normal paper where um, sometimes you uh, you transfer on a on a t-shirt and then after a while it goes away because uh, at the end it's just uh, really it's just paper but this one infused the ink uh, right on the fabric let's see how it looks like and it looks like paper, but once you you transfer it on your on your fabric, it stays and it looks like uh, like ink. So it doesn't go away when you wash the fabric. There are different sheets. It's probably to cover the design and then to apply the heat press. But I want to. I, I will make another video doing some project with this infusible ink because I think it's really interesting and I also will be able to tell you more precisely how uh, does it work. Then there is some uh, vinyl. This is really nice. I have a black one. He says also that no cutting mat is needed, water and UV resistant and of course it is available in different colors. And then we have this one, a unique effects, lasting results. This is only one sheet and it's really, really adorable. And it's an holographic kind of vinyl. And this is how it looks like when you apply it and you can apply to glass, to plastic, to everything. Can't wait to, to try this out. Then uh, together with the heat press, this goes along with the infusible ink and with the heat press, it's just a heat resistant uh, tape so that you can put your design on the fabric and then use the, the tape so that it doesn't move and it's uh, heat uh, resistant. So this is really, uh, really useful. Finally, I've received some markers, some special markers. And because this machine also uh, can, has a slot to put in inside a marker so that you can uh, you can draw and you can see it here from this picture how it works and I will show you also in the machine so I received these ones there are a black write and draw with a Cricut Explorer machine into a calligraphy pen with the tip at 45 degrees angle to the machine water-based as in free non-toxic permanent after dry see these are the markers then I received other markers that are also infusible ink, permanent professional transfers, draw designs using infusible ink, markers on laser copy paper. This looks also really amazing, I, but I need to study a little bit more and understand how does this work. So I will probably make some other videos to show you how it works and also tell me in the comments, suggest me how, what kind of videos would you like to see and I'm going to uh, make them for you. Now let's open the machine. Included in the box we have a premium fine point blade, a rotary blade 
and a fine point pen. As I told you, there is a slot for pens, so you will find one inside. As you can see, this machine can cut fabrics and special paper and even basswood. So I'm really, really curious. I would like to make something with basswood as well. So really can't wait to learn how to, to use this machine. Let's finally open this and see what do we find inside. All right. At first we have a little box. This says Cricut Maker and there are probably there are some tools inside, materials for your first project. So there is probably some paper inside, I don't know, some fabric, let's see. Yes, there are two pieces of special paper. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a textured kind of paper. Then we have Open Me First. We have Get Started in Four Steps. Okay, there's one for, <laughs> for each language. Let's read it together. Unleash this beauty, plug in and power a fabulous new Cricut machine. Get connected. Go to cricut.com slash setup. We will ask you uh, through every step. Then make a little something, of course, during setup, we will make a practice project with material in the box, so we can do this together. And then bookmark this page, that's cricut.com slash create, you will find every result you need to master your new machine. Enjoy. Okay. Then let's move on. We have here the rotary blade. Down here we have another marker. Then we have some wires and I think this is Cricut Rotary Blade Cup. Okay, so to cover, uh, to cover this blade and probably storage it. Here we have the mat. There should be, I think there are two. Yeah, yes. So I know that one is for the paper. This one that says, wait, I will show you, uh, says light grip. So this is uh, for paper and this is for this, the pink one is for fabric, so it says fabric grid cutting, matte for fabrics only. So I don't know if I'm going to ever um, cut some fabric, so <laughs> let's see. For now, I think I will use only the blue one. This is pretty large compared to the, to the silhouette. Silhouette has a, a smaller one, so this is the first difference. So here it is the machine. Now I'm going to make some space on my desk and then I will show you when I start to set up the machine. At the bottom of the box you have all the cables that you need to plug your machine. I will follow along these steps. So the second step is to go to cricut.com slash setup. So first of all, I need to download the design space for Mac. Okay, download. And yes, I will put it in my application folder, of course. And then it's time to launch it. I need to sign up for the first time so of course I'm going to put my email and a password and yes they want your name and the country etc and yes so here it is this is the Cricut design space I'm going to select my machine that it's a Cricut maker of course and here you have some projects already and some example that you can use that you can see and so yes this is the machine i'm going to select this again and here you have some tips on how to prepare your machine but i've done this already so i'm going to continue all right and first of all, um, you can make also a test cut, but in my case, I'm going to skip this. 
and instead I want to do a calibration. So I will select print then cut calibration. And of course I need to print the calibration sheet and I'm ready. Here the software makes you print a page like this one and now we'll place it on the, on the mat. I think I have to place it here at the corner. All right, and then now I will put it in the, in the machine. I really like that you have these two uh, guides here so you don't really cannot get wrong on how to place the mat. So now I guess I should um, push this button here. Okay, and it loads. I also want you to hear really how uh, how loud it is, so I won't skip the the, um, the noise. So <laughs> be prepared. These are the cutting line usually, so it is now calibrating and. The sensor is recognizing the cutting lines, I guess. Now it's going to make a test cut. So now the software says, without unloading the mat, examine the cut lines around the small square in the middle. Does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? Mm, actually, no. <laughs> it goes. Um, a little bit out, so I will uh, click no, continue, so now it's going to perform a calibration cut again, now again I have to examine the lines at the top and right of the calibration sheet, which cuts landed closest to the center, so uh, so let's see. As you can see here, we have different kinds of lines, different kinds of cuts, and they don't match the lines unless I think M or N is the best. So 14 is a good one, and N. So, uh, all right, now to continue, I have to unload the mount and click continue. And then I will do another one, another trial. So I did another uh, cut test, and now here in the in the middle, the cut uh, really matches the the black line, so it's really centered. So I would recommend you not to skip this uh, step because it's really important, and you will find it in the Cricut Design space under the menu. Uh, there is um, calibrate your machine and so you should do it. And another thing that I wanted to uh, stress is that of course you need some uh, space in the back for the uh, for the mat to go through. I would uh, like to make a first comparison. As you can see, this machine here is bigger than this one. Look at this, how small it is. So I think that if you are just starting out this machine is not that bad because it really takes uh, not so much space this one of course looks more professional more uh, solid i mean even the materials look uh, looks really um really sta stable and solid and professional so but yes i w would not give an opinion yet i will like first to to start to uh, using it properly and so now i would like to try and make some stickers so let's make some stickers together so this is the design that i've chosen for my stickers i'm going to create a white um, bleed and then i'm going to cut and save it as a PNG. Now I'm going to import it into the Cricut design space and here it is. I, probably it's too big so <laughs> I'm going to resize it and just um, multiply them so I can make more than one sticker. And now it's time to print.
and then I'm going to select the paper that has to be cut. So in this case, printable sticker paper. So I printed some stickers. Well, what I like is that the software um, just distributes your stickers by themselves. So I think this is really useful. Um, probably these ones are a little bit too, uh, too big, but it's fine. It's just uh, a trial. And now I will try and cut and cut it. I selected a printable sticker paper and I really hope it will cut through so we will see uh, that together or we will need to make some adjustments. Um, so this is just really the first experiment. Let's go! It seems that it's cutting through, so really good. Also not so too much noisy as you can hear. Only I think only when it moves from one part to the to another then it's a little bit loud but nothing compared to the to the silhouette at the moment. So it's really enjoyable. All right, so let's see now our stickers. So the cut is really perfect. He cut through immediately with this setting. And as I told you, I used printable sticker paper as a setting. And now, let's see. So this is the <laughs> this first sticker. I think it's really adorable. And as I told you, it's, it's a little bit huge. So I really need to now practice and uh, really understand the software a little bit better. But for now, I mean, first time took me a lot to figure out with the other machine. And instead, I think this is uh, so far more intuitive and really easy for um, to use. So it's uh, so far so good. And many people, of course, recommend to unload the sticker like so. This way it doesn't bend. And of course, it's way much better. Hello, this is me. After three months, I was editing the video. So I thought about giving you also an update and let you know my experience so far with the machine. After the first cut, the one that we did together, the machine started to act really crazy so I wasn't able to cut properly the stickers and I really had a little bit of time uh, struggling and not understanding so I started to ask questions to my community on Instagram uh, but still nothing uh, seemed to, to work so I just wrote to the customer service and they have been I have to say in my experience really nice and really helpful so they gave me some tips but still after some different trials uh, still the machine couldn't cut properly so I had to do the calibration many times and by the way do that like three four times the first time that you purchase the machine because it's really important in my case I just did it like one once or twice the first time and it wasn't enough so that was my mistake but at the beginning I uh, didn't know much about the machine then in the end it turned out that the machine was just broken and uh, probably the sensor wasn't working properly so they just uh, told me to um, to destroy the machine and they sent me another one so I think the customer service has been uh, really really helpful and yes the new one that it's here is actually uh, working fine I still like the fact that it's not uh, so noisy uh, compared to the silhouette and I'm really uh, really looking forward to try also some other materials like vinyl or basswood uh, stuff like that but I will say that if you only uh, do stickers 
I'm not sure that I, if I would recommend a Cricut, but you can tell me your opinion as well, because if you if you make only like single stickers and stuff like that it's fine but if you start to do um, sticker sheets for example it's a little bit more complicated if you want to cut without the bleeding it's also not so perfect so it depends it's a little bit <laughs> complicated it depends on what you what are your project and what what do you want if you can put your machine like um, not really next to you, uh, I would probably recommend the silhouette, even if that is noisy. So I will, <laughs> I will tell you not to put it like on your side because it will drive you crazy. And instead this one is it's better noise wise. It, it really depends on your, uh, on the project that you do. If you only cut vinyl and I don't know, probably other projects other than st only stickers the maker it's definitely a, a good one so uh, i'm still learning i'm still not a cricket guru so if you have some tips or if you want to uh, like share your struggles or something like that just put them in the comments so we can probably discuss about that and i want to hear also your experience in the next videos i would like to uh, try the um, infusible ink for sure and so we can we can make together some projects like uh, tote bags or stuff like that i would like to print some t-shirts or some uh, tote bags so stay tuned for that yeah so this is my experience so far if you have questions just uh, again leave them in the comments and thank you so much to Cricut for sending me uh, this machine and all the other um, materials and paper and stuff this is not a sponsored video so they just um, send me uh, their their products to try them out and I'm not getting paid from them so it's really my honest opinion I think this is it for this video I will see you really soon please leave it a thumbs up if you if you like it subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time bye